Hi everyone, this is Megan from RGU Talk and I am joined today by Marissa and Laura who are uh, RGU students right now and have these amazing stories. They've come from different countries and have just taken advantage of all the good things that RGU has to offer. So um, do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Hi, my name is Marissa. I'm 21 years old and I study international tourism management. Um, I'm half Scottish, half Greek. My name is Laura. I'm also 21 years old. I'm a fourth year PR student. I'm from Germany. And yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thanks for coming today, guys. Um, so basically, we want to let our audience know a bit about the opportunities that you can get at RGU. So can you tell me kind of what have been the highlights for you so far? Well, first of all, Aberdeen's been amazing, generally, like living here. Um, it's a great city and there's a lot of like bustling, some things to do um, around. But one of the highlights is studying abroad for me uh, in Finland and also doing my internship in California for a year. Finland and California. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit more about like the study abroad experience? How easy was it to get involved in it? And then what was your experience there like? Um, so studying abroad, yeah, it was actually really easy. They just sent out an email and the application process was really easy um, and because it was through Erasmus I also got funding for uh, my rent in Finland so that was a big help. Can I ask why Finland? How did, how did you choose that country? Um, so I had different choices. I have to be honest, Finland was I think my last choice. I don't know why, I just, <laughs> but I'm so happy I did end up going there. Um, yeah, they just chose it for me basically and at first I wasn't sure, I was quite scared to go because um, different language, different country completely. Um, but it was one of the best times of my life. It was uh, for four months, I met amazing people. Um, the university was good. I saw the Northern Lights. And yeah, I just got to experience like a whole new country for four months. That's amazing. How, how long were you in Finland for? Like four months. For four months. And you, Laura, you did uh, study abroad as well, right? Yes. So I did um, study abroad in Toronto. And just like Martha said, like studying abroad generally is always such an, like you can't really describe it how much you grow. Like generally, obviously, when you go to university, you grow because you learn to be independent, you live by yourself. But then I feel like this growth is so much faster when you are abroad because you're in a completely different culture, you're in a different country, you're completely outside your comfort zone and that does feel scary, um, but it's always so worth it. And I would for sure like agree as well that like studying abroad in Toronto has been one of my favorite parts um, of the RGU experience. And honestly, I was as well, like I'm still so grateful for the whole study abroad department because they made it so easy like literally like as Marissa said like the application is super super simple and Toronto was my first choice so I was like very happy that I got it as well um but it was all so easy and it was so great because um like the uni in Toronto we had like a little like group chat as well of all the international students so uh, I got to meet like people before that and they really helped me with like uh, accommodation as well and the whole process honestly it was so simple and so like it made me feel really comfortable because I've never been abroad to um, Canada anyway um, so when I compare that to how it was for me like coming to Scotland if that makes sense like all by myself then I feel like with the help of RGU study abroad it was a lot more comfortable although it was still uncomfortable obviously to go abroad for so long. No, of course, what would you say was the best part of the study abroad experience, both academically and then also socially, maybe something really cool you did out in Toronto? Uh, so many growth opportunities. Um, just honestly, the everyday life, like there are always going to be things that go wrong all the time. And when you study abroad, you just have to figure it out by yourself like there is no parent to help you you might not have any friends yet you might not know people so you really have to be resourceful and kind of figure it out by yourself so just generally like all the little opportunities every day um academically I loved Humber College that I studied at um all the teachers were great we had um so I studied PR as I said so I had an events management course where we would organize a PR conference at our university with a lot of people um, working in PR um, in Toronto. So that was really great. That was probably my favorite academic experience. Um, and socially, um, the international team at Humber, they organized like tons of trips. Um, so for example, we went camping for one weekend to Algonquin National Park, which was my first camping experience. 
to be honest, maybe my last because it was absolutely freezing and I was just like, <laughs> I was dying. Um, but it was cool. And um, we did like canoeing and we had s'mores and it was like the proper camping. Experience. Proper Canadian yeah. experience. Exactly. That's great. Yeah. Um, that was that was really cool. We went to Niagara Falls as well. We went to Canada's Wonderland um, at Halloween, which is a huge theme park. That was cool. And you did it all. Yeah. yeah, it was it was honestly great. And Toronto itself, like I just tell everyone, like Toronto is just insane. Like it's so great, such a great city. It's one of my favorite cities that I've ever visited. Oh, that's so much fun. So I know, Marissa, you said that Finland wasn't your first choice. Um, can you maybe tell the people who are listening some other choices that you did have, be, um, just to, um, for them to know I kind had, of the different uh, options? Utrecht in Holland. Um, what other choices? I think I had Germany, uh, Spain. Um, there was one more, but I can't remember, but then it was Finland. No, it's, it's crazy to think how if you would have been in Spain or in Holland, how different your experience would, would have been. I'm sure equally as good, but just it would have been completely different. Oh, yes, yeah, I think Belgium. it was Belgium, yes. yes. In the end, Finland was probably a, a uh, great fit, yes, though. Yes, because I feel like I wouldn't maybe think to travel to Finland mm -hmm. if I wasn't going to go and study abroad. Um, but now I tell everyone it's amazing, it's beautiful, and... Um, like the Northern Lights was such a like big highlight for me, yeah. Um, and yeah, there's like so many opportunities there. So, so was that that was in your third year, correct? Yeah. Um, for me, it was second. Year. Second year and then yeah. third, year. third year. Okay, and now you're in fourth year, and you can kind of take all those life lessons, all those experiences you got, and then you can just really end end your time here on a high note. How how do you think that the study abroad experience will kind of? Ha do you think it's maybe helped build your resume a bit? Do you think it's going to make you more employable at the end of this? For sure, like I, um, I did a lot of uh, like events as well, like in Toronto that I went to like conferences and stuff, and just like the whole networking aspect. I think is always great to like network with people, obviously overseas, and to, I don't know, like for example at the like um, like conference at the PR conference, they shared a lot of uh, internship like tips, like how to get internships, how to like how the PR industry works, all of that. I think generally like. Um, whenever you go travel, whenever you go somewhere else, like tell people what you do and like be interested in people and then opportunities are just going to arise, if that makes sense. Um, but generally, I mean, the confidence you gain through study abroad that makes like that is like, I think, the biggest thing. Yeah, because I have to say that if I hadn't studied abroad in Finland, maybe I wouldn't have like the courage to go for a whole year to California, like even further away for even a Wait, you were there year. for a whole year? Yes. So... Was that your placement, your third year placement? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I act, I think that's absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was quite terrified at first, going for a whole year, knowing that I'm going to work for a company that I was just scared that maybe I wouldn't like it, but I would be stuck there. So the whole process, again, was quite easy. Um, it was through Yummy Jobs, it's called. They, they're they famous like for their like, Disney cultural exchange, but they also have like different other um, businesses. So I did it through RGU again um, not as fast and easy as like the study abroad um, process but it was still through RGU <laughs> um, I did have to pay for my visa and everything but I did just work part-time and save up for that um, and yeah I just booked my flights got my visa and everything and yeah I just went so then that whole year you spent there you, you said you were working part-time or full-time? Oh, no, full-time. Full-time as part of the placement, and then you had a little extra part-time mm -hmm. on the side. And so that work experience you got out there, that counted towards basically your whole year of studies? Uh -huh, yeah, so I did like six months of training. Cause I, so I worked at a restaurant. I did food and beverage um, in a resort. And yeah, so the first six months, there was this training in all the different departments. I was hostess and um, waitress and bartending and everything I was even like washing dishes and then the other six months I got like supervisor and management training so I feel like it really did give me a lot of experience like management training that I can use for jobs in the future. Well, for someone studying what you're studying that's actually the perfect fit you get to see everything kind of from the bottom up all the different roles. Yes. So what, what was the best bit about California? <laughs> so much I mean I traveled so much around the states generally um the people were just so nice and just happy and yeah I was just it's amazing what some sunshine can do <laughs> <laughs> yes yes um well one of the highlights was gone skydiving um that was like one of the like things I'll always remember 
um, and just like all the hiking that I did and just and that's when I first started like traveling solo because um, even though I like moved to these countries I was still like surrounded by all these people and it was through the university but when I was in California I started like traveling to other places on my own which I never expected I would do but because of the confidence I gained from those experiences I managed to and now I just travel solo all the time when I I should prefer that. <laughs> Honestly, hearing what you ladies have done, it makes me wish I could go back, redo my university <laughs> experience, because I, I feel like I just did not seize those opportunities. I, I, we didn't have placement opportunities at my university, let alone going to a different country to, to gain credits for my course. And I didn't study abroad. Um, so no, well, well done, you two, for doing everything you possibly can, I think. That's a great inspiration for people listening to this. Um, can we end on a little a little game? So yes. <laughs> not not a game, not a game. But can you just say um, if you what were three things that maybe you did not you did not know about RG or you didn't expect and you didn't learn until you were here? So maybe for those listening three things that might surprise them I mean to be honest like for sure like the study abroad thing like uh, the whole that it's so easy like they made the process so easy that the industry connections for sure the industry connections the study abroad destinations like the choice like it's insane to have partner universities all around the world yeah because I knew that there was a possibility that I could study abroad and yeah. do my internship when I was applying for a GU I was like oh that's so like far ahead and maybe not everyone gets to do it and like Laura said I didn't realize how easy it was to actually make it happen like they want you to go like they are empowering you they are encouraging you to go and they're not just like well we are only going to give this to like the best students blah 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 no they want you to you know get ahead and and do it and um yeah, well, so I feel great. like when you're abroad also they like send out emails making sure you're okay. So they're like yeah. supporting you through the whole process. Also, I have to say what I thought was really cute. Um, cute. <laughs> I don't know. It was really cool when I did my internship abroad or actually for me it was back home in Germany anyway. Um, like in the middle, no, or was it like after a few weeks of my internship? I don't know. But I had a call with one of the RGU, um, like I think my module coordinator. I can't remember. But that was so cool like that they actually cared and like my internship place was like wow like we don't get um students and then their universities like calling in and like setting up a meeting with us and they would message like my internship place all the time like email and just they I, I feel like they make you as a student feel like very comfortable even in the uncomfortable situations like there is the support um, that's really great and and one more thing just generally that I love about RGU is the whole like student experience like they have so many events and like the um, yeah like the whole it's it's kind of like especially like freshers when you're like in first year it's kind of like in movies you know of all the like like freshers fair and all the societies and clubs like for someone who's not from here like in Germany we don't have that culture um, so that's really cool. So yeah, thank you so much, ladies, for coming and talking to us today. Um, your stories are amazing. I'm going to go uh, reapply for university right now so I can do it all over again. So yeah, for our listeners, if you have any questions about study abroad or placement opportunities, um, send us a DM on Instagram or a message to our Facebook page um, and we'll get back to you. So thanks, Marissa and Laura. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.